We stepped into the year with high food prices and low expectations. Tomatoes were scarce in January 2017, as fuel is scarce in December 2017. <laughs> Nigerians learned that life was possible without stew. After all, a bag of rice was so expensive that rice and stew was starting to sound like silver and gold. The only people who entered 2017 with high hopes were those who were waiting for MMM to start again. <laughs> they were eager to get help and give help. But what they needed to do was get real. A wolf was ready to turn belly, and the pyramid had crumbled. 2017 was the year of two babas, the baba of the nation and the baba who has so many children. You might as well call him the father of a nation. President Buhari, uh, the man who had promised to ban public officers from going abroad for medical treatment, left all of us behind and went to the UK for treatment. <laughs> but maybe it was an emergency. Uh, that one is understandable. 57 days later, he transmitted a letter to the National Assembly that he will return to the United Kingdom for medical attention. Okay, he went to the UK for medical treatment twice. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, we we'll go share the shame 50-50. <laughs> But the saddest thing about it is that the second time he was going, someone forgot to buy rat, you know, rat poison and put in his office. <laughs> President Buhari played with our emotions and stayed away for so long that even people who do not like him as president started begging him to return. We will not stop. We just want the president to either resume or resign. Well played, Mr. President. Well played. <laughs> as for Tubaba, he wanted to not just entertain, but advocate for the rights of the people. This match is about encouraging positive-minded Nigerians, serious, hard-working, genuine, patriotic Nigerians to continue to work without intimidation. And why not? After all, Fela did the same thing. But by the time the powers that be finished with innocent Idibia, a.k.a. Two-Face, he thought twice. Two Baba went from singing they want to tell us another story again, you, to sing in, all we need is one love. <laughs> the point I'm intent on making is not worth the life of any Nigeria. No, I therefore announce the cancellation of the planned protest. <laughs> uh, that was the end of the matter. Nothing there happened, nothing there happened. <laughs> 2017 was Dino Milayo's year. Because we learned about his academic qualifications. You know, Melea allegedly did not graduate from university. The report. He launched his musical career. <laughs> and they almost ended his political career with a recall. Mm. <laughs> we shall see where that story goes. I'm still keeping an eye on it. Oh, uh... This was the year when Dino showed us just how stylish he is. <laughs> Slaking Dino, you have slayed my eyes. <laughs> Slayer. Well, 2017 was a year of statues. And no, I'm, I'm not talking about the statues in Noweri. Uh, by the way, Rochas, how much? Uh, you know you have not still answered that question. No. So how far? Uh -huh. I am talking about how our government officials stood by like statues while Nigerians were being harmed, threatened, and killed in many countries in Africa and even around the world. But when it came to visiting the president in London or attending Anthony Joshua's boxing matches, our governors, senators, and ministers were suddenly active and eager to travel. <laughs> 2017 was the year of quit notices. The Ariwa youths issued one to the Igbos in the north. <laughs> The people of Zimbabwe issued one to Robert Mugabe. <laughs> and the PDP issued one to President Buhari. <laughs> 2017 was the year when the police captured events and people called on government to end SARS. <laughs> 2017 was the year of Tiwa, Fino, Simi, Techno, Whiskey, Davido, and the end of bachelorhood for Banky W. <laughs> we thank God. We thank God. It was the year of raw cash, whistleblowers, broken promises, and madness. 2017 
was the year when Nigeria qualified for the World Cup, but still failed to live up to its promise as the greatest country in Africa. <laughs> We've had a rough year, but at least rice is now cheaper. Tomatoes day, and Nigerian jollof rice is still number one. Even though some Senegalese program has hacked our information minister. I want to see probably Senegal. A wise man once said that we must set forth at dawn. 2018 is around the corner. Greatness beckons. But the work starts now.